In the streets of Paris, near to the Sacré-Cœur, stands a relic of days gone by. In these transient times, the Clichy Montmartre Billiards Academy remains as a solid monument to a traditional pursuit. But while billiards has been part of French culture for centuries, it faces stiff competition from a younger rival from across the Atlantic. This aging building symbolizes much of the sport it houses. French billiards is complex, old-fashioned, and is increasingly being usurped by pool in the games halls of Paris. There used to be a great number of billiards academies in Paris, but no longer. This is the last billiards academy, where amateurs and people who really love the sport can come to play. French billiards looks simple enough, with only three balls on the table and no pockets to be seen. But there are many variations of the sport, and its complexities are unending. One of the best players at the academy is Aldo Di Maria. The most popular game is three cushion. In that variety, before touching the other two balls that are on the table with your own ball, you have to hit at least three cushions. Look, one, two, and three before completing the point. That's three cushion billiards. And that's the most spectacular of the games. In days gone by, the sport was also a real spectacle, with crowds flocking to this academy to watch Roger Conti, the billiards world champion who co-founded it. Aldo paid Conti $7 for a lesson when he was a youngster back in 1950. In those days, that was a very expensive hour. But billiards has always been a sport for the purist, and the owner of the academy recognizes that it struggles to compete with American pool in attracting first-time players, which may be why the billiards tables are situated at the back of his establishment. French billiards is a little elitist. It's difficult to play the game because it's very technical, and you can lose a point by a tenth of a millimeter, because if you miss the ball even by a fraction, then you lose the point. American pool is much simpler. Because pool is an easier game to play, the majority of young players stick to it. But Monsieur Richard is aware of the history of the academy and remains committed to it, even though this site would earn him more money if it was given over completely to pool or even returned to its 19th century use as a restaurant. A McDonald's here? No chance. Of course, any traditional sport attracts its share of characters, and the Mass Brothers are no exception. Maurice is the talkative one, while Jacques is the one who takes exception to his game being interrupted by a nosy camera crew. The great champions of the sport can score more than a thousand points in one break, but as for lesser players, The two countries where billiards is played. Oh dear, it looks like we'd better leave them to their game. It seems to have quite a pull on its players. Sadly, it also appears to be struggling to attract new ones. The Clichy Montmartre Academy is an increasingly rare establishment, populated by aging players. However, the hope is that the Academy can continue to fight off the claims of pool and fast food and maintain a taste of old-time Paris in the heart of the city. Billiards is in decline, but while academies like this stay open, it will be played. The day the owner decides to close will be the end. A unique home for a unique sport. Hopefully, the Clichy Montmartre Billiards Academy will keep its doors open for many more years to come.